Welcome along everybody to the weekly vlog. I am out here with Buster today. A lot going on at the land. We have a mixture of sick dogs, a lot of dogs moving around, a lot of dogs getting better. But Tina, we've got a big update on. Buster himself here, who I'm out walking at the moment. Snoop is sick. There's lots of dogs being fed. Really just wanted to update you on lots of exciting things that are happening and progress and introduce you to the wonderful Buster. Welcome along to this week's vlog. And by the way, if you can subscribe, it would be a massive help because last time when I asked people to subscribe, I got like 500 or something. So it really helps every single dog. Welcome along to this week's vlog and I'll show you around now. Now you can see Buster's tail is not very good. You can also see that his ear is massively swollen up. Apparently he was an aggressive dog was what we were told, but he's definitely not aggressive. You can see that his tail has got a very bad infection. It's actually a fungal infection, which you can see all across his body. He's got it on his legs. He's got it on his face, but we're working on fixing that. The tail is really not good. You can see it's still wagging, but it's a very sore tail for Mr. Buster. You can see patches down on his legs, but it's not affecting his attitude. He's the biggest, friendliest, softest dog you'll ever come across with a lovely smile. Big ears got a drain in it, which drains the blood out every day. Mr. Buster. The newest arrival, the wonderful Mr. Buster, has made it all the way to Hope Avenue. You're doing good, Mr. Buster, aren't you? You like it here, Mr., don't you? We're gonna get you all better, aren't we, Mr.? That's our top priority. Now, I think it's a miracle that Snoop is even, even able to move today, but he's feeling a lot better today. He gave us all a massive scare this week. Now, I've had to come down here to Snoop's level to film this part of the video. He's had a really tough week. As you can see from some of the pictures, he nearly bled out, to be honest. His big lump on his neck got swollen just over the course of about 24 hours, actually, and it exploded and it wouldn't stop bleeding. The veins were all meshed up in, in with the like kind of tumour. It's hard to explain, but the pictures kind of show how serious it was and how close he was to not making it. I was in bed with him trying to stop the bleeding in the middle of the night and I, I thought he was done. I really did, but Snoop has made a lot of comebacks. It has been his legs that were the previous biggest problem, but they're still bad, obviously. But now it's his big lump on his neck. But the good news is his blood results and his vital organs are good, so we might be able to get it operated on. It's gone down a little bit today, and he's got lovely heart-colored bandages on. So a stressful few days with Snoop, especially when it's your own dog that you've had for, you know, 11 years. He's about 13 years old. He's a rescue. So that has been a, a massive stress this week. So this is little Dang, who's had a really bad tumor, which I'll show you in the video. She had a big operation about four days ago, but it's healing up so well that those stitches are nearly ready to come out. So obviously we do that with the local vets and something that would probably have killed her, certainly annoyed her, is now fixed. And she can go back to living in her temple where Rod found her and she's gonna be healthy. So that's her. She's a very, very, very well-behaved girl. Her total stay is gonna be about 10 days. She came in before the operation, then we got her operated on with the local vet, and then she will recover for about seven days and then have her medicines, and then she's as good as new. Now Mick Jagger loves his new little houses, the nice cool cement. Mick Jagger, we're gonna try and find a home for, because you can see from his teeth, he's a little bit of an older dog, but he's very gentle. He loves giving the paw, don't you? Where's your paw, mister? Where's your paw? Where's your paw? Oh, there it is. He deserves a home. Mick Jagger is part of the Rolling Stones. There's also Keith Richards and Ronnie Wood up on the streets, but he needed a little place to fix his leg. <laughs> Will we get you a home? Will we get you a home, Mick Jagger? Will we get you a home? Yes. You're a very good boy, aren't you? Now, one thing I did want to talk about this week, which I don't normally talk about a lot on videos especially, is just my own mental health and well-being. Because it's the question I get asked the most often on Instagram messages and DMs and stuff is like, how are you doing yourself? Because people know that I do struggle with mental health at times. Mental health has actually been okay, but I, I am under some serious pressure. I've had Bambi die, 
Snoop has been really sick. Tina has taken a bit of a turn for the worst, as we've seen. I've had to go to Bangkok. Reading the book was really tough because I was talking about, you know, dogs who died in the past. So yeah, it's been really, I can feel it. I can feel the, the stress and anxiety. Like you can't, you can bury it for a little while, but it, it does catch up. Luckily today, I'm feeling healthier. I was looking at myself in a photo yesterday and I was like, oh my God, you need to start to fix that. So I've taken some steps, literally to do that. My family uh, have bought me an Apple Watch so I can track my steps and do some fitness. I've started to try and eat better and I'm making a vow to take an hour to myself each day to go for a walk because if I don't do that, I'm not gonna be able to look after the dog. So it's the message I get the most often is please look after yourself because you can't look after the dog. So I just wanted to say to everybody, thank you for always asking. The last two weeks have definitely been tough, but I've now put a plan in place to look after myself for an hour every day and, and try and get as fit as I possibly can because then I can help more dogs. That's the way to look at it. So if anybody else is struggling with their mental health out there or just, you know, I'm dealing with sick dogs, which is stressful, but people have sick relatives and tough work situations and relationships and whatever you have in life. You look after yourself because it's very important. And try and tell somebody, I'm telling everybody on YouTube, but you might just tell your best friend or your family or whatever it is, it, it will help you. So thanks for all the kind wishes and that's what I'm doing. I'm off to do my steps now. I'm gonna hit 10,000 every day on schedule today all the dogs have been sick so i have been all over the place up all night and stuff like that but I'm back early today snips in the vets everybody's been feeding i wanted to tell you a little bit about if the dogs fight or not very common question the answer is they do and it's only over food and attention the two things they fight about so grumpy is the big boss here and she makes sure that everybody gets fed the right amount and not too much but this, it's good to have a boss there's, there's a there's a pack order and grumpy is the big boss here now grumpy's eating hers beyonce and ryan goslin can sneak in can't you oh sorry give you a little uh, hit on the nose by accident there mister so grumpy you can see patrolling she's the boss she's patrolling everybody to make sure that the wrong people don't come into the table Everybody else can then eat, including this old boy here who likes to sneak in. But Grumpy's watching every move. So she's the boss. Isn't that right? But it means you're all happy. You've all got a pack order. Now, Tina has entered a new stage of her care. You can see her behind me. She looks really, really healthy. She's got obviously itch in her face, which is one of her favorite things to do. But we are putting on her drip for four consecutive days for eight hours. It's all to take pressure off her kidneys. So she's not terrible, but she got some blood results that were really sort of not perfect. So all of this is, was to be expected. We knew it was coming. It doesn't make it any less harder, obviously, to process. But Tina, as you can see, is happy behind me. Her health has got a little bit worse. Her kidneys are getting weaker. So we've got her on the special diet. We've got her on the fluids all the time. All of this is about just easing the pressure on her kidneys as much as possible. But as you can see, she's one very, very happy dog. Ironically, one of the reasons we're having to slow Tina down is because she's just doing too much. She's trying to go on every walk. She's trying to play with every dog. She doesn't want to miss a second of her life, which is fair enough given where she's come from. But we also need to look after her health, which is really, really important. So Tina's doing good, but a little deterioration in her health for sure. But we're giving her all the help she needs. Now you can see here, Tina, a good old back scratch in the jungle. She's still a very happy dog. Come on, Tina. You're filthy, Tina. You're filthy, Tina. Look at you, Mr. Snoop up here, powering along, powering along. Look at that for a comeback. You two are unbreakable, aren't you? The two best dogs. Nobody saw these comebacks coming, did they? I hope that kind of gives you a good overview of what's been happening this week. I think you can tell from the tone of the video and maybe the absence of a video for a few days. I've, I'm a bit behind on my YouTube videos that it's been a tough week and things get very tough with dogs. It comes in waves. I mean, there's always sick dogs, but when they're dogs like Snoop, who is my own dog that I've had for so long, and Tina, who is obviously not only my favorite, but probably everybody's favorite, just because of what she's been through. It's really, really tough and it, it, it nearly breaks you mentally sometimes. And, physically and emotionally. And the good news is I'm feeling really good today. I've got, gotten through the most of it. There'll, there'll always be battles, there'll be more battles. But when you look at it, it's their dog's lives being saved. And I used to drink myself 
into stupors and I used to waste my life and yeah, it might be tough, but at the end of the day, no matter how tired I am when I go to sleep, you might have saved a dog's life or you might have made a dog's life a little bit easier or a dog might have passed, someone like a dog might have passed and you made their passing a little bit easier or special. So that makes it all work and the tiredness will always be there, but the memories and the, the, the feel good factor is much better than anything else I've ever done in life. So I hope you all have a wonderful week and back to making videos on a regular basis now and things have slightly quietened down. Have a good week.